Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of 3M PM, three minutes of Pastor Michael, Theology Made Simple. So in today's lesson, we want to talk about why did Jesus have to die? And there are so many reasons why, but let's get down to the foundation of it all about why Jesus Christ, God, had to die on our behalf. And this really starts with Genesis, the first book of the Bible. God created a foundation of Adam and Eve saying, don't do this, do this. But as we know, the story goes that Adam and Eve disobeyed from God's perfect plan. Because when God created everyone and everything, it was perfect and it was very good. But Adam and Eve disobeyed and they followed Satan and they completely broke their relationship with God. And they disobeyed. And sin is a missing of the mark of that perfection, that bullseye. So what was once perfect has now been influenced by sin. In Romans chapter 6, it talks about the wage of sin is death. That is the penalty. And that's exactly what God said to Adam and Eve, that if you eat from this tree, you will surely die. So that's what sin leads to. But they actually didn't die. Adam and Eve still lived and they had sons, they had families. But what they meant was there was a spiritual death. They were kicked out of the presence of God in the Garden of Eden. So how do we fix that relationship, that broken connection between a perfect God and his creation? They deserved the penalty of death, but they didn't get it. So how do we get united to God again? And that is with the person and life and death of Jesus Christ. Now, why do I say death? So. The death penalty is for all humanity. We are born in sin and we are spiritually dead. Every religion will talk about how we need to climb up this mountain to get to God by doing certain things and what they would call doing works to gain your salvation. That's the exact opposite of Christianity. Whereas in Christianity, it talks about God himself actually came down the mountain to rescue us. And that's in the life and personhood of Jesus Christ. Jesus lived a sinless and perfect life on our behalf so that he could die for us. Because remember we said the penalty for sin is death. So Jesus needed to be perfect so that when he goes to the cross and dies for us, it would actually be a satisfying covering up of sins in the eyes of God. So when he died on the cross, He has completely declared us right before him because Jesus was perfect. If you or I, in all of our sin, were to try to die on the cross for us, it wouldn't be good enough. In Leviticus chapter 16 and 17, it talks about the Day of Atonement and what that meant. That a pure and spotless lamb must be sacrificed and the the blood must shed over the sins of Israel. In the same way, Jesus is that perfect spotless lamb that he died and his blood covered the sins of all of Adam and Eve, like we talked about, so that by faith in him and his death, we can now have a relationship with God again. So it is very important that Jesus died. Um, And there's so many more that I'm sure we'll, we'll dive into a little bit more, but very briefly, Jesus had to die so that by faith in him and his perfection, that we can have a relationship with God again. So until next week, God bless and take care.